Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Here I have my PS Classic that we are going to hack together. I'm going to show you how to hack it in a few simple steps. Do not lose detail. Ok, let's start. As I said, it's very simple add new games and play them. You have to use a pen drive. It is recommended that it be USB 2.0 because they are more compatible than others. In my case I am using a micro SD reader with a 32 GB micro SD card anyway. You can try any other you have. We connect the pen drive to the computer and it detects it. In my case my pen drive is the letter I. ¿Vale? Es un pendrive, realmente es, es un lector de, de micro SD con una tarjeta de eh, micro SD de 32 gigas. Bueno, pues en mi caso ok, I una... already have the Sony label on the pen drive, but let's repeat this step, so you can see it. We click with the right button of the mouse and select format. It is important that the label be Sony. We select FAT32 and quick format and we accept. Aquí es importante que tenga la etiqueta Sony. Es decir, si tiene cualquier otra etiqueta, escribimos la palabra Sony. ¿Vale? Otra cosa muy importante es seleccionar en sistema de archivos FAT32. Siempre FAT32. Y luego por último, pues eh, recomendable formato rápido para que vaya muchísimo más rápido. Aceptamos. It has been fast. Vale. Bueno. Cerramos. Y decir que yo previamente, pues, eh, he creado una... Now, create a folder on your computer. I have created a folder called PS Classic Hack where I already have a game that we will use as a test. preparado, pues, un juego, que en este caso yo he elegido el SNG. Bueno. Eso aparte. Siguiente paso del tutorial. Lo que tenemos que hacer... Es descargar the los next step, we have to download the files that are in the link that is in the description of the video. We download it in the PS Classic Hack folder. Yo lo voy a descargar, como digo, en esa carpeta llamada PS Classic Hack. Le damos a guardar. Nada, termina muy rápido. Vale, y veréis que lo tenemos aquí. Unzip it. Lo descomprimimos. Le podemos dar la opción que queramos. Voy a extraer aquí. Tenemos esta carpeta. Nuevamente tenemos esta carpeta. And we see that there are three folders and one file. Estas, estas carpetas y luego ya a su vez con varios ficheros dentro. Bueno, directamente. We select everything and we copy it to our pen drive. Vale, lo vamos a copiar. O, o, o lo podemos. Eh, sí, lo vamos a copiar directamente. Botón derecho. Copiar. Y lo que vamos a hacer es llevarlo a la unidad I, que se llama Sony. En este caso, nuestro pendrive. Botón derecho, pegar. Todo muy rápido. ¿Verdad que sí? Bueno. Siguiente paso. Queremos copiar un juego. Como yo ya tengo preparado... The next step is to copy a game. First I unzip it. This is going fast. Vale, es bastante rápido. Bueno, un segundo. Bien. Ya tengo aquí la carpeta Senegil dentro de la carpeta Senegil. The game that I have is in PBP format, but you can use bin plus Q format and in some cases the ISOs also work. It is recommended to rename the PBP file putting a clear nom, e, for example silentil.pbp. Inside the pen drive we enter inside the games folder, then inside 21 folder and we copy the game file here and we wait for it to be copied. Esperamos a que se copie, en función de la velocidad de vuestro pen drive, bueno pues tardará más o menos. Ok guys, we have the pen drive ready. 
Okay, here we have the console in the pen drive that we are going to connect in port number 2 of the console. The power cord of the console needs to be unplugged for at least 5 seconds. We connect the power cable and turn on the console. And if everything goes well, we will see that the LED flashes as we are seeing right now, this means the console detects the pen drive. If the LED does not blink, we repeat the steps. Now we will select any game to play. Important, when the PlayStation logo appears press select and triangle at the same time and this hidden menu will appear. Como estamos viendo ahora mismo. Eso significa que ha cogido la unidad USB, que ha cogido el pendrive. Now to load new games we select PCSX menu with the X button on the control pad. Then we select load CD image. Bueno, chicos, pues ahí está and now using the direction buttons, we go to the right and select the games folder, press X. Press again right and enter 21 folder. And here using left or right direction we can see the games, in our case Silent Hill.pbp. We select by pressing X and the game will start loading. Very easy, right? As you can see the game loads correctly and it works. Let's leave a few more seconds for you to see it. Seleccionamos la carpeta 21 y aquí tenemos pues el bin que venía en el pendrive y el Silent Hill en formato PVP, que es el formato que utiliza la PSP para ejecutar juegos de PlayStation, ¿vale? Seleccionamos el PVP y vemos que carga la ISO, ¿vale? Como podéis ver aquí, se está ejecutando el Silent Hill en español. Todo muy fácil. It has been demonstrated in simple steps how it works and we go with the final part of the video. Ok guys, what do you think? Easy. Right? Anyway, if you have any questions, or if you h have any comment, do not forget to comment the video here below. Stay tuned to the channel because in the next few days we will have many news regarding PS Classic and let's tell everything here of course, there will be more tutorials to make everything be easy for all people, and nothing else, as I say be attentive and see you in the next video.